Right, we're going to go over special angles today. So first we got complementary and supplementary. And complementary are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. And supplementary are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So what does that look like? So complementary have two angles. Angle one and angle two form a right angle. Then supplementary, you'd have two angles. So we'll call that angle three and angle four. So they add up to a line, which is 180 degrees. So let's uh, practice a few of those. Alright, so we've got three angles there, and we're going to find the complement and the supplement for each angle. So complement has to add up to 90, so I would do 90 minus 30, which equals 60 degrees. I'll just put C for complement, and S for supplement. So supplement has to add up to 180, so we're going to subtract the 30 from 180, and get 150 degrees for our supplement. So the next one, 62. Again, our complement. We do 90 minus 62 to give us 28 degrees. So our supplement equals 180 minus 62. So that would be 118 degrees for our supplement. And the last one is uh, 110. So for our complement, we would have to do 90 minus 110. Well, that's going to give us a negative number. And you can't have a negative angle. So there is no complement. But there is a supplement. So for the supplement, we can do 180 minus 110. And that's going to give us 70 degrees for our supplement. So if you have an obtuse angle, there's only going to be a supplement, never a complement. Right, two more special angles are adjacent angles and vertical angles. And adjacent angles share a side. And vertical angles are across from each other and are congruent. So just because angles are across from each other doesn't make them vertical because they also have to be congruent. Alright, so let's look at some of these angles that are adjacent and vertical. Alright, so let's talk about some adjacent angles. So let's just start with angle 4. Angle 4 is adjacent to both angle 3 and angle 5. And you'll see that angle 4 here is touching both angle 3 and 5. They, they both share a side. So vertical angles, we'll do angle 4 again. So if you look at angle 4, the angle that's across from it is angle 1, which is also congruent. So vertical angles would be angle 4 and angle 1. If I wanted to do angle 5 for vertical, let's pick a different color for that. So angle 5 here. You'll notice that angle 2 and angle 3 are both across from it. But neither one of those alone is congruent to angle 5. So to be vertical to angle 5, it would have to be both angle 2 and 3. So remember, vertical angles have to be across from each other and congruent. Adjacent has to share a side.